and welcome back. This is Bella Scoob with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. When we last left off, we were in the town of Silver, and I bought some equipment and found some equipment that was definitely an upgrade, but I did not equip it. Curious. I'm joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Sid, Talus, Cecil, and Yang. And as always, I mean, uh, this is the first time that it's just been that. We need to leave the town of Silvera. And we need to head back to Toroya, which was pretty much the last place that we were. That was plot related. You guys remember it's way over here in the corner. Let's see if I can land. There we go. I, I do not like that landing. It's kind of tricky. From Toroya, we need to head north into a battle. Here, we find pythons and sting rats. Now, these sting rats are no fun. They hit very, very hard. Let's go ahead and... Uh, you can fight him, actually. Now, Sid has an ability called Peep. Peep is uh, pretty much Libra. If we use it on the Python, for instance, he'll take a look at it. It has, it has 90 HP and it's weak against ice. That we already knew. Weak against sacred power, which is holy. Um, I'm going to try to use a fire two here. And then you guys can fight and tangle. No, it missed. Haha, <laughs> you will not paralyze me, snake. And then the sting rat counters. Uh, counters Cecil's attack with Neo. He freaking always does. And down goes everything else. Because fire is strong versus everything. You get 665 kills, 795 experience. Cecil levels up because of that as well. Now, I could have used ice too and done a whole bunch more damage, but I like the looks of fire. We need to head north from here. And we need to get into another fight with new enemies. We have tree ants as well as the steam rats this time. Kicker! Now, tree ants, you would assume, are weak to fire, wouldn't you? I swear Sid will get an attack one of these times. Peep! They have 260 HP and they are weak against fire. So let's use fire on everything. See how that turns out for everybody. If Tella could ever start casting it. Come on, fire two! It's not that hard. Get that one. It does about 140 to 150 damage. Oh, that's what it did there. That's not fun! Alright, Sid, get an attack in! Before these things absolutely destroy us, go for another kicker! That is enough for the victory on the tree ants. Just left with the sting rats, which I do not like. Do not like at all. Uh, what weapon are you on? You are on the flame rod. Nice! Let's use that on everybody. Damn it, Needle! They hate Needle. God, I hate Needle. Alright, should be enough to finish off this guy here if the Flame Rod doesn't do it themselves. No. Oh, finish off, finishes off one of them. Let's finish off the other one as well. Down it goes. Get 960 gil, 1407 experience, and Yang leveled up. Congratulations, Yang. We need to keep going north. Our destination is right there. This leads us into Chocobo's village. And a Chocobo's music. It's a little different than what I'm used to, isn't it? But I still like it. So these are the Chocobos. We've seen them in previous games. Uh, th uh, th there's obviously a, a few different kinds. Uh, there's a white one here. Uh, that's a black one up there. I know it looks very purple and pink, uh, but that is definitely the black one. And then we have the regular yellow Chocobos. I need a black one. Come with me, Black Chocobo. We are headed... Oh, he can fly. Look at that, he can fly. Oh, but he can't go over mountains. Okay, we need to head east here. Um, I believe it is here. See, what's unique about the, uh, the, the Black Chocobo is that he can land in force. That's the only place he can land. So, we need to land right here. I swear he can land in forest. There we go. Apparently I wasn't in enough forest. Uh, but I believe as soon as we go into the cave... Uh, no, he, I, I think he's going to stay. Uh, but I do need to save and uh, 
rest outside of here. This is our destination, which is going to be a dungeon. Okay, I healed and saved, and I switched uh, my equipment just a little bit here. I changed uh, Tella and Yang from the silver, uh, silver ring, I believe it was, to the ruby ring. Uh, you'll see why. Right now, because we are headed into Cave Madness. Can't go right. Okay, so I have to go down, and the whole thing turns green. What is this magnetic field? Metallic things will be too heavy to control. My claws seem okay. Do not worry. I'll do it with my magic. No. <laughs> Your MP is so limited. So, this is what they were talking about. The cave where everything, um, all, all metal becomes very heavy. That's what they meant. It's, because it's due to a magnetic field. And they were up against cave bats that have vampire. And if you have magnetic gear on, and Cecil's the only one that does right now, uh, you pretty much are paralyzed. You can't do anything. Go kick her! And then luckily, are you guys done casting vampire yet? Seriously, I would like to get a turn off. Damn, vampires are fast. Fight! Kill! Maim! Wound slightly. Uh, let's just use it on one. Go, Flame Rod! Nice! Critical attack by Sid! And down it goes. Go, Flame Rod! Go kick! Wow, that did crap all. Stop healing your damn selves! I assume this is healing them, even though it doesn't show that it's healing them. Because it is vampire, after all. Kick the first one's ass, seriously. I think it might be more worthwhile if you just smack it, Tella. Because you're not doing any damage right now. It's about the same as, as the flame rod did. Jeez. But down they go, and we get 465 kill, 472 experience! Damn. Why do you limit my characters? Up here we cross a bridge, we need to head all the way east. And here we can find Cure 2, which will probably be very handy in this dungeon, because Tella is not going to be as useful as he thinks he is. And we have Stingrats and a Panther! I don't like the looks of that Panther at all. At all. It looks like a, a curl, to be honest with you. I know in later games they, they are referred to as curls sometimes. Alright, let's go for a uh, Fire 2 on everything. We, we, we don't really have a choice here. I'm gonna have to use so many ethers to get through this place. I can see it now. Kick -a! Hopefully that'll be enough to take out at least something. No. No, of course not. Sid, it's up to you. Again. Uh, this is this is definitely going to be an item dungeon. One where I'm going to have to use items just to get through the damn place. Should have just fought. Go, Flame Rod! On the Panther! How's that do? Ah, <laughs> 15. Not good at all. Might have to switch everybody over to something that's a little more effective. I do believe that Ice would be more effective. But for that fight, we get 915 gil, 1,115 experience, and Cecil gained a level, even though he didn't do crap. Do need to heal, though. Okay, healed, and I switched uh, Tella and Yang over to Thunder. Hopefully that works out for me. I, but, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what bats are used or, or weak to. I just know my Pokemon logic. Do we have more new enemies? Nope, just Panthers. Oh, well, isn't that nice? The Panthers are actually stronger against lightning than they are fire, and they have an ability called Bluster, which killed Tella. How awesome of them to do. It's an instant death spell, it looks like, and we get a heal out of that chest. Let us go down and move on to B2F. Now we can go left from here, because this looks like a side route for me. Here we have a cave noggin and an ogre. <laughs> I'm scared. Fight! Just destroy them! Oh, he's strong against physical attacks. Of course he is. Luckily, lightning does seem to be super effective against them. Let's go ahead and cast lightning on both of them. I'm sure the cave noggin is actually going to be weak to ice. 
uh, but I I'm gonna try to use lightning so I can get rid of at least the cave ogre. Yeah, go ahead and slow Cecil all you want. He can't move. Holy crap, 360 damage. Down goes the cave, Naga. Go away, ogre. How are you still alive? Why are you still alive? Why don't you die? Thank you for going away. Never bother me again. 445 kill, 462 experience, and I do need to heal Sid. I get the feeling that I might actually be underleveled for this dungeon. <laughs> but we do find more panthers. So we can continue on to grab this treasure chest here, which holds an ether one. And then we can head over here to the far... Nah, I don't like the looks of that. Is there something over here that I can grab instead? More bats. Okay, change my equipment again because lightning seriously was not effective. So Yang is now on the ice claws and Tella is on the change staff. Or rod, change rod, I believe. And this is clearly the most effective strategy, so I should have been using it this whole time. Unfortunately, I wasn't. So let's go into the next room and grab that treasure chest up there eventually. Let's grab this treasure chest now with an ether in it, which is very, very much appreciated right now. This is apparently just a treasure room with 500 more gill in it. Now we are free to leave as soon as I finish this fight. Now, I don't think I ever went over the change rod. It does cast a uh, piggy on enemies. Uh, not every enemy is susceptible to piggy. Uh, for instance, bats are not susceptible. Uh, ogres are not susceptible, but many, many other things are. The, uh, the panthers are, which is awesome. And we do have... No, we've seen all these. And if we head into this room here, we can find a much appreciated save point that I will definitely use. Let's head out of here now that I am fully healed. Uh, mostly I needed Della's MP back because that was gone. It was just gone. Do we have any more new enemies to show off? I don't think we do. So let's go down here and into this room where we find three treasure chests. Nice. What do we got? We got a Cure 2, Cure 3, and Life. That's the first Cure th 3 that I think we found, a Cure 3 potion. Uh, they're pretty much telling you, I know you're having trouble with this, with this level, with this dungeon, and I am, I am. Oh, and we do have a new enemy here. This is, uh, well, it's an, it's a mage. I wanted, I want to dis defeat the the ogre first if I can, and then let's see if I can uh, change. We'll try to change everybody, and we'll see. At least the panther should change. And the mage does as well, but unfortunately it doesn't work on the yoga. But at, at least in Piggy, they can't do much of anything. They can only hit you, uh, which is nice. <laughs> damn, they hit hard. Go down, you damn ogre. Alright, uh, just like fire one or something. Just beat them with a stick or do something. Die, mage. Ugh. Of course, he's... I forgot that was the mage. I thought that was the panther, I guess. I forgot that the mage was uh, weak to, to only physical attacks, not to magic at all. Just beat him upside the head, and uh, does so much more damage. 21 times more damage. Yeah, you can try to blast all you want. You can't do it, y'all. Pig. Die, pig. I'm going to make bacon out of you. It's going to heal me. But for that battle, I guess 730 gil, 757 experience. And another Cure 2 potion, greatly appreciated. As you can see, I'm very low on Cure potions now. I used almost all of them. Is it, there's really no treasure here? Okay. Well, then I'll just go up here and get the Charm Claws. Now, those need to go on Yang immediately. He is both-handed. He's ambidextrous, so it doesn't matter where it goes, I'm going to put it on the right one just because I like right-handed people better. We're just better than the rest of you. We are. Everybody knows it. We're just afraid to say it. Damn you guys. 